Hey guys, welcome to OJ's Wealth of Math. In this video, we want to see how we can solve system of linear equation by a method called substitution. So let's get started. Now there are two problems on the board and we want to solve by substitution. What substitution simply means is that we want to plug in the value of one of the variable in one equation into the other. So that's, what, that's, what, that's all about substitution. Now, if you look at this problem, there are two equations. They are simultaneous. This is the first and this is the second. Now, if you look at the first equation, x is expressed in terms of y. So that tells me that x value is minus 4 plus 2y. This is x value. So basically, in substitution, we want to plug in x value in the first equation into the second equation. If we do that, our new equation becomes 2 into bracket. Um, x value is minus 4. So wherever I see x, I'm going to plug in all of this value, which is minus 4 plus 2y minus y equal 1. Now, the next thing we need to do here is to open up the bracket. Now, if we open up the bracket, we are going to have 2 times minus 4 will give us minus 8. 2 times plus 2y will give us plus 4y. Then I have minus y here equal 1. Now, what next to do? Um, we can we want to get rid of um, negative 8. So we can add 8 to both sides. If we do that, um, plus 8 here, plus 8 on the other side. So minus 8 plus 8 will be 0. So here I have 4y minus y which will give me 3y equal 1 plus 8 will give me 9. Now if I divide through by 3 I'm going to get 3. If I divide both sides by 3, 3 cancel 3, y will be 9 divided by 3 will give me 3. Now I've gotten the value of y as 3. Now the next thing I want to do is to find the value of x. So all I need to do, you can see that in the first equation, x is already expressed in terms of y. So it is easier for me to just copy this down, x equal minus 4 plus 2y, so that I can plug in the value of y. But you can actually plug in the value of y in any of the equation, but it's, since you're looking for x, it's easier to just plug in y here. Now if you do this, x will be minus 4 plus 2 into bracket, y is 3. So finally, x will be minus 4 plus 2 times 3 will give me plus 6. So minus 4 plus 6 will give me 2. So finally, in conclusion, my x value is 2 when y is 3. So I have 2 comma 3. Now let's solve the next problem. Now we want to solve by substitution. And I'm going to repeat again. In substitution, we want to make sure we'll plug in the value of one of the variable in one equation into the other equation. Now, we can either express x in terms of y from equation 2 because equation 2 looks very simpler, or we can express y in terms of x. So if we do x in terms of y, it means x will be, I'll just subtract y from both sides. So y minus y will be 0, so I have 2 minus y. So this is equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Now remember that I got equation 3 from equation 2. So what I need to do, x value is now 2 minus y. So what I want to do now, I want to plug in x value in equation 2, in equation 3, sorry, into equation 1. That is all about substitution. If I do that, I'll have 2 into bracket. In equation 1, x value is this, so I'll do 2 minus y, then minus y equal 10. All right? So the next thing, we're going to open up the bracket. If we do that, 2 times 2 will give me 4. 2 times minus y will give me minus 2y. Then I have minus y here equal 10. So as well, I can add, I can subtract 4 from both sides. Now, 4 minus 4 will be 0, so I have minus 3, minus 2y, minus y will give me minus 3y, equal 10, minus 4 will give me 6, 
If I divide through by negative 3, my y value will be 6 divided by negative 3 will give me negative 2. All right, now I want to finally, I want to get the value of x. So what I need to do from equation 3, I have x equal 2 minus y. So wherever I see y, I'm going to plug in uh, minus 2. So x will be 2 minus minus 2. So minus minus is plus. So x is equal to 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 will give me 4. So finally, I can say that my x value is 4 when y is negative 2. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching my video. You can always subscribe on OG's Wealth of Math. Share my link. Make your comments on my video. Share, click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you get notified. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.